Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about malware and the different ways that you can protect your personal data from it. Now, according to reliable antivirus testing sites like AV Test and AV Comparatives, around 450,000 new pieces of malware are being introduced every single day. And with the widespread use of technology in our daily lives, we have become more vulnerable to various online threats with malware being one of the most prevalent. So in this video, I'll be talking about the threat malware poses when it comes to personal data and the different ways you can protect yourself from such threat. But it goes without saying that the most effective way to protect yourself from malware would be to install an antivirus program on your computer. And so if you're looking for an antivirus and you're not sure which one to get, I'll leave some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend along with some discounts in the description down below. All right, so what threat does malware really pose? Well, malware is a broad category that includes viruses, worms, trojans, ransomware, spyware, adware, and more. Each type of malware is designed for a specific purpose, ranging from stealing sensitive information to damaging computer systems. Now, if you wanna check out the difference between these types of malware, I've already made a video about this topic and I'll add the link in the description down below as well. With that being said, malware often finds its way onto computers and other digital devices through deceptive means, exploiting security vulnerabilities, tricking users into downloading infected files, or clicking on malicious links. The consequences of malware infections can be severe. Personal data, such as financial records, login credentials, and personal information can be stolen and used for identity theft or fraud. Also, malware can disrupt the normal functioning of a computer rendering it useless or causing significant data loss. In some cases, malware can even turn a compromised device into a bot, joining a network of infected devices, which can then be used to execute large-scale cyber attacks. And so it's extremely important that you take proactive steps to protect your personal data from these digital threats. As I mentioned earlier, the most effective method of protecting personal data from malware is to use reliable antivirus software. Antivirus programs are designed to detect, quarantine, and remove malware from your computer. They also provide real-time protection, preventing malware from infiltrating your system in the first place. Regularly updating your antivirus software helps make sure that it can defend against the latest threats. Similarly, you should always keep your operating system and software updated, since malware often exploits vulnerabilities in both of these developers release regular updates and patches to fix known security vulnerabilities. And so by quickly applying these updates, you can reduce the likelihood of malware finding a way into your system. Another common method that malware uses to infect systems is through deceptive software downloads. So be careful when downloading and installing software from the internet. Only download software from reputable sources and avoid cracked or pirated software, as it often bundles with malware. Also, always read the permissions and terms when installing an application, and be selective about what you grant access to. Moving on, another measure that is effective in protecting your personal data from malware would be having a firewall active at all times. And that's because firewalls act as a barrier between your computer and the internet, blocking unauthorized access and potentially harmful traffic. Many operating systems come with built-in firewalls that you can configure to meet your specific needs, so there's no excuse for not turning them on. Another really effective way to protect your personal data would be to back up all the important files and folders on either cloud storage or an external drive. And that's because in the event of a malware infection, having up-to-date backups can ensure that your data remains intact and accessible. Luckily, most reputable antivirus solutions such as Norton 360 come paired with cloud storage. So you should be able to save yourself a lot of money otherwise spent on separate data backup services. Other than that, using strong and unique passwords is really effective against malware. Avoid using easily guessable passwords and consider using a password manager to generate and store complex, unique passwords for each of your accounts. This minimizes the risk of unauthorized access to your personal data. Similar to cloud storage, device managers are now the norm when it comes to antiviruses, 
which would help you save even more money. And finally, we have turning on two-factor authentication, also known as 2FA. This two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security to your accounts, as it requires not only a password, but also a secondly authentication method, such as a code sent to your phone, to access your accounts. Enabling 2FA can greatly enhance the security of your online accounts and make it more difficult for malicious actors to gain access. And that's basically it for malware threats and how to protect your personal data from such attacks. Don't forget that the most effective and efficient method to protect your system from these cyber threats would be to install a reliable antivirus program. And in case you're looking for one, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend along with some discounts in the description down below. And that's it for today's video. If you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love to interact with you guys. And that will be all for today and I'll see you in the next one.